Hello, Dominic. What an amazing hotel. Welcome. Thank you, Gian. Glad to be here. After I've seen this uh, video, you know, I've stayed in your resort uh, multiple times. It's beautiful and wonderful, not only the facilities, but the service level. And, and you know, after this video, I just want to come as soon as this is over, come and stay there again. Um, Dominic, I want to start our conversation first asking you, I mean, this industry, uh, the whole world, but our industry especially has been gone a lot. How are you doing? How is the Sheraton St. Keys Resort has been doing so far? And what is the situation currently? Yeah, so as you mentioned, I don't know if there's another industry that's been hit so hard yet. Um, you know, we, it happened in the middle of March we were in and we were in season and we had a great February and a good January and ready to have a great season. And then, you know, we, we were in the mid 90s, high 90s, and we get down to uh, single digits uh, within days. And uh, unfortunately, it, it went quick, right? And we had to make some tough decisions right earlier on. So uh, it didn't take us long to know that we would have to close our doors. And, and so we, we closed our doors for six weeks um, and decided to open up in the middle of May. And uh, we were fortunate we have the beach, right? If we didn't have a beach, um, a lot of my colleagues uh, closed and open and closed. And some, some of the hotels aren't open yet, some downtown properties so um, around the U.S. But we're very fortunate to have, the, have a resort and being on a beautiful beach that we have. Um, and we brought back about 60% of our uh, associates. And, um, you know, again, the clientele has changed a little bit from prior to uh, afterwards. It's more of a little bit less seasoned traveler and more of a shopper. Um, but I can tell you, we do very well on the weekends. Uh, during the week, it's a little slow. But I, I can tell you that uh, groups starting to come back. We, we are getting... Uh, a few small groups um, and, and more leads. Um, so th th things are improving day by day. Wonderful. Uh, it's great to hear that you are a little bit less impacted compared to this downtown hotels, but you mentioned um, that obviously it's not the same like last year. If you compare even 65% of the associates are came back, that is good news, but not enough. We always aspire to do better every, each year. So can you please talk to us? We're going to talk about technology in a second, but how does the economics of Sheraton St. Keys work during this pandemic? With these numbers, how do you make it work? Or does it make it work? Or are you yeah. trying to just survive? What is the, uh, can you please tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, yeah. So um, without a doubt, uh, business is not like normal, right? So the people that we brought back are coming back and they're working all over, any department we need them in. So there could be somebody that was a banquet houseman um, pre-COVID, right, uh, at the beginning of the year. And now he's a bellman slash pool attendant slash buster in the restaurant. And that's how people are getting their hours. And um, we're keeping everybody mainly getting full-time hours, anywhere from 32 to 40 hours. And uh, everybody just pitching in and doing whatever's needed. Um, but, but the time where you're pigeonholed to one job, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're, we're in that survival mode and all of us are pitching in and doing whatever they can. And, and the associates are helping in with this one, right? 100%. And I can tell you, talking to my uh, GM colleagues, um, our jobs have changed. So uh, it didn't matter if you were a hands-on general manager prior or, but I will tell you afterwards, you are a hands-on manager. Yeah. Um, GM. Yeah. yeah. GMs right now, I can I, I can tell you, I've talked to so many of them. They're checking in gas. They're bussing tables. They're helping a server. They're uh, bringing up luggage. So uh, we're all in it together. I know. I know that from the first hand because my son uh, works for Ritz Carlton Hotel, and he's a night. He was a night auditor, but now he's doing the bar, uh, valet, <laughs> and at the same time multiple jobs. You're right. Okay, Dominic, I want to switch gears as we are talking about technology today. So as you know, in your hotel, when, when I came, you are using technology uh, as much as other hotels, full service hotels are using. Uh, we When I came in, I check in, I get my uh, electronic key card, and then I can open the doors with that one. And there were a variety of different technologies inside the room, your TVs, Wi-Fi, everything. But now with the pandemic, 
there is a trend on, at least from the consumer side, to be able to see some contactless options, for example, opening the uh, door keys without any key. How does it, like, uh, you know, the title of this lecture is the Can Technology Be a Savior? So I want to ask you, do you think technology can be a savior for Sheraton Sand Keys Resort? Uh, without a doubt, the answer is yes. Okay, I will tell you that um, more and more people are using the keyless entrance, um, so they don't have to come to the desk. They, they have it on their iPhone, their key, and um, they don't even have to come talk to anybody. Right? And I can tell you, Marriott as a company is, um, I think they have it uh, right now, about a hundred different hotels a kiosk um, because guests might be just like the airlines, maybe start doing the kiosk and not go to the front desk as well. And uh, so that's an option. But I can tell you also in the group business, not just transient. So our group customer that we've lost, um, you know, prior to the pandemic, we were about a 40, 43% group house. Um, so a very large number of our business is group customers. And I can tell you uh, in January, we're gonna be doing our first hybrid meeting. And a hybrid meeting is basically, in years past, this group was 400 people. They're going to be 200 people here and 200 people uh, virtual, right? They're going to have speakers from all over the world because they cannot fly in for it. Um, so they're going to figure out who's coming in, who's going to be virtual, and we're going to have meetings that way. So, again, technology, um, without a doubt, it, it's critical to our success. So dynamics has changed quite a bit. Yeah, probably I assume that you have never had to support a hybrid meeting before. No, no, never at all. Never at all. So a lot of virtual things. We, we've done a cooking contest virtual uh, for some clients and uh, we've done some happy hours, um, some chefs uh, uh, competitions as well. So we're just thinking of different ways of how to use technology. But our hybrid meetings, um, again, this is all new to us. Uh, all my AV guys are learning how to do things. Uh, differently because for us to be successful a little group's better than no group at all so you know we exactly. came up with that idea and told the customer hey we're ready for you in january let's let, 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 let let's ro ro roll with this so that's what we're going to do so this is how we're going to build that confidence Travis. correct 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 and, and again it's all about confidence now right so when our customers come in we want to make sure that they feel confident and safe and they feel like our hotel's clean and cleanliness right um, and, and then that's, that's a lot of our marketing things. We're not marketing to large groups or international travelers. We're marketing to um, our individual guests that are coming in and they're mainly driving, right? And our marketing message is we have a safe, clean hotel. And uh, a beautiful big beach helps too. <laughs> right. Dom of course. And it's a beautiful beach. Um, Dominic, I'm just curious personally that I... Uh, when I came to your hotel earlier or any other hotel, usually the cleaning is has been done, public spaces, I'm talking about public toilets or other places, has been done discreetly. So people didn't really want to see that's being done. But now one of the most important factors that builds confidence that on co consumers is that they want to see that uh, in the restaurants, in the hotels, the public restroom. They don't want that band there, you know, cleaning right. inside. They, they want to be clean. Is that the same thing in your hotel? Do you also do that? Well, 100%. So the, the comments that I get and we read a lot is it's great to see the housekeepers cleaning the elevators, right? And those are the things that we, we've Visibly. added. Visibly, right? Vi vi exactly, exactly. So it's not done in the middle of the night anymore. It's done during the day and everybody's seeing it and it's done more often too as, than it used to be as well. So again, the more people we have out in front of the guests, um, kind of moving the people from um, that were in the guest rooms to the public space so everybody knows, you know, things are being, you know, clean on a daily daily and hourly basis, um, going up to the gym on an hourly basis. So, you know, I've read before, I've seen this uh, house here come in to clean the machines twice, and I was there an hour and a half. So um, those are the comments that you like to read. Wonderful. Very nice. And in the last one minute that we have left, Dominic, I would like to ask you this question. Are you optimistic about the future of travel industry? Because we are hearing many pessimistic kind of views that, uh, what is your thoughts on this? Let's close with this one. Yeah. So um, I'm very optimistic about the, the travel comeback. Um, you know, 2019 was uh, 
a record year, right? Um, in the hotel industry, we had a great decade. We had 10 great years of growth, right? Um, but eventually, things have to come down. Now, did we think this was going to happen? No way. <laughs> no one can predict this. Um, and, uh, but we thought things were going to slow down in 22, 23. We thought that the um, supply was going to catch up to the demand, but nobody, no, nobody, nobody predicted this. So unfortunately, this is going to take us some time. And it kind of depends on what type of hotel you are. I can speak for my hotel here. Like I said earlier, we're about a 43% group house. Um, and then also we do about 8% international travelers, right? So I think the group business, the large group business, I should say, and the international travelers are going to come last, right? So that's going to take a little bit more time. So if I had a crystal ball, I would say between three to five years, we will be back where we were for 2019. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dominic. Uh, good luck to you. We appreciate your help. Hey, you're welcome. And thank you for having me. Thank you.